The Office Season 2, Episode Number 10. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of The Office. Last week, we had another fantastic episode, man. It might have been my second favorite episode of the season, to be honest, dude. The party episode where Michael was not invited. We had our boy Chang showing up from Community. I know he's well known for a ton of other stuff, but just community recently checked it out obviously you know that's what the, this replaced or this is what replaced that in chang and that was fantastic at least in the earlier seasons character got a little wonky but now every time i see him i just think of chang from community regardless fantastic episode dude again every episode is getting better and better so i'm excited to see what we have in store for this week i will say i was just thinking before i started this damn community or not community the office is slowly becoming one of my favorite shows man it's climbing up there you know what I mean? It hasn't topped the list yet overall, but it's definitely climbing the, the the ranks of the sitcom shows for sure. And just overall shows, man. I love the comedy. I love the characters now that I'm kind of involved in the world more, I guess, so to speak. And it's, it's more set up. Like I said, I feel like season two, they've really found their footing in comparison to season one. I thought season one was good when I was watching it. And then seeing season two, it's just like, oh my God, we just entered another world. Regardless, I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. So I'm going to stop wasting time, guys. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys want to see the next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Christmas episode. Push. Ah, push. No, 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 turn really around, turn around. It. You break it, shove it, break it. Dude, I love. Shove it, shove it back. <laughs> I love when we have these types of episodes and shows, dude. Halloween ones and Christmas ones. I think Halloween ones are my favorite. Ah, I got a splinter. Well, suck it up. We all have problems. Bro, is this thing even hey, going to stand up in here? Look what we have. I don't think so. On Push. Three. Ready? Straight one, up. One, one, two, Stanley's two, three. Face. Yep. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bro, I mean, he's putting in effort. Give him some fucking credit. It's just like, I don't know. Michael, sometimes I, I don't think this motherfucker thinks. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Christmas spirit, dude. Like I said, Christmas Christmas episodes and Halloween episodes, I think, are the best when it comes to, like sitcoms and stuff. I mean, I guess other shows, too, but specifically sitcoms, just because, you know, it, it gives it that extra special feel like it's not even Christmas time right now when I'm recording this, you know. It's fucking August, end of August. Halloween's coming up, but it still puts me in a good mood. So this year, for the first time ever, I got Pam in Secret Santa, and I got her this uh, teapot, which I know she really wants, so she can make tea at her desk. But I'm also gonna stuff it with some inside jokes. Very personal. She put this on a hot dog a couple years ago because she thought it was ketchup. <laughs> and uh, it was really funny. This dude's obsessed with her, bro. He's head over heels in love. And this is a cart. Very thoughtful. Because Christmas is the time to tell people how you feel. And you're telling her you love her. <laughs> I mean, like, she feels the same, dude. It's just a matter of time, right? Double everything. Double ice cream, double napkins. Double it. On me. It was I... a tough year. I had to fire somebody this year. Yeesh. Did you just say double everything and put down, like, 30 bucks? Christmas bonus. 3,000 Gs. I got this for helping save the company money. Mm. So I guess some good came out of firing Devin after all. <laughs> It, no. Come on, Mike. Let just, me borrow a hat for just a couple hours. You want to be Santa? Yeah. Have you ever seen Santa? Yeah, I've oh, seen no. Santa. Okay. Who cares? Well, I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. <laughs> if you do not get your present wrapped and under the tree within the next five minutes, you will be disqualified from Secret Santa. What? I got myself for Secret Santa. What? I was supposed to tell somebody, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his fucking smirk every time kills me. I think I got something pretty nice for my guy. Yeah. I spent a lot of dough. A lot of dough. Wow. Did he get Jim? Well, there's a $20 limit, right? So Yeah. I want this party to be really special. He spent so more than 20 bucks on beyond. Pam. That's great. Well, don't tell me what it is because I could. It was Ryan. Oh. Yeah, I have Ryan. Dude, he's obsessed with Ryan, man. It's it's almost a little weird. Three, two, two one. Yeah! underwhelming as great. hell I'm sorry everybody yeah she did say she got the small lights it's okay phyllis you get a pass presents are the best way to show someone how much you care 
it is like this tangible thing that you can point to and say, hey man, I love you this many dollars worth. <laughs> Dude's love language is fucking gifts. Shower radio, neat. Oh great, that was for me. Thanks, Kelly. You know I was gonna get okay, one of these. Okay, gonna... okay, that's enough. That's... What? Come on now. Where'd you get it? I don't know, I was so long ago. My closet? He obviously forgot to get me something. <laughs> and then he went into his closet and dug out this little number. Yeah. And then threw it in a bag. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Yep. He, 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 bro, he's at the age where he don't care, man. Oh my God. Thank you very much, Santa, whoever you are. It's awesome. There's a little more to it. All right, next. Ryan. No. Oh. Damn. Whoa, video iPod. Oh, oh wow, jeez. Well, Look at this really dude. got carried away with the spirit of Christmas. That was me. I got carried away with the spirit. Wasn't there a $20 limit on the gift? Oh my God. Bro, those are them throwback ones. I actually really like that style, dude. What is in here? Phyllis got that for him? Oh, come on. I, I knitted it for you. An oven mitt? That's actually dope. I gave Ryan an iPod. Dude, I want to fucking like him, but he keeps doing shit like this, man. We are going to turn Secret Santa into Yankee Swap. Oh, what is no. Yankee Swap? One person chooses a gift. The next person can either choose a gift or steal that person's gift. No. He's not supposed to just spring things on us out of nowhere. Angela, relax. Relax. It's okay. <laughs> I'll take the teapot. Oh, shouldn't we? About that specifically for Pam. Yankee swap. That's what makes it fun. Pam, you can steal the oven mitt. Now. I'll take the iPod. Dude, this has just become so awkward now. That was meant for Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I think this is going great. <laughs> Oh my god, man. Poor Jim. Poor Phyllis, dude. Hope he gifts her are, are, are the best. Well, it's for Angela, so. That's like the creepiest thing that I've ever seen. Angela, you're up. Dude's begging somebody to take that shit. I hope everyone just swaps back to what they were supposed to have. This is a fun game to play, but when you know you're playing it. This is great. Wow, look at that fine craftsmanship. Um... And you really put a lot of work into that. It's beautiful. I'll take the oven mitt. Sucker! <laughs> See, I wanted somebody to take it. Boom. Reverse psychology. Dude, I can't. What the fuck are these? Paintballs? Look at his face. In addition to these paintball pellets, your gift includes two paintball lessons with Dwight Schrute. You and me, Michael. Yes. <laughs> Two paintball lessons with someone as experienced as I am is worth easily like two grand. Take that, Saddam. <laughs> I want the foot bath. Why did he say it like that? That's the thing I bought myself. I'm really psyched to use it. The foot bath was open. Did he use it already? I want the iPod. <sighs> Damn it. Sure, you don't want the teapot? I mean, it's an iPod. I will take that book of short stories. Yes. There you go. I want the teapot. Gracias. Dude, Jim didn't steal anything, right? And you should have just bought a $20 gift like everyone else. Well, I didn't. I got a big bonus because I fired Devin and I used the money to buy something awesome. Sue me. You got a bonus check. Shit. How much? I bought this teapot for Pam and I know she really wants it. So can I trade you for it? No trade. Come on. It's a shame my keychain. Good luck. <laughs> That's what he got. A real man makes his own luck. Um, I was going to get you one of these for Christmas. I don't have to. <laughs> I'd save a ton of money. So what are you going to get me instead? I don't know. Like a sweater or something? Sweater. Zero thought. We're really not supposed to serve up. Zip it, Toby! Just Fucking Toby. I mean, it's a party. Come on. If I can't throw a good party for my employees, then I'm a terrible boss. New Year's resolution that I'm not going to drink anymore mm. during the week. Ah! They're in the week. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I really yeah, yeah, did not yeah. do anything. Oh no, no, oh, yeah. no, no false no. modesty, my friend. Angela is so judgy. Checking out my present. But I traded with Dwight. Um, just I figured, you know, you went to a lot of trouble and it means a lot. Oh, 
my god. <laughs> the yearbook picture. Yeah, I think I made the right choice. Yep. Oh my god. It's incredible. Is this the boggle timer? I didn't think you were gonna get that one. Oh god. Why do you take the thing the the, the letter from Pam, the card? I wonder what he had in it. Merry Christmas, oh, yes, no. Wait. <laughs> the return. <laughs> yes. This dude is gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dwight is enjoying the iPod though. Oh shit. What are you doing? Oh. You shouldn't do things like that. The man is supposed to do that. Angela. Oh shit. <laughs> Bro, she about to snap. Yep. She the type to snap and go crazy over it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Angela does seem like a low-key psycho. Michael? Poor Richards? Yeah, that sounds good. He got invited, finally. Heading over to Poor Richards? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. You oh, need God. a ride? Oh, God. <sighs> All right, let's head out. Oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, bro, that is part of the reason you don't get drunk at an office party, man. The Office season two, episode 10 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. And I think this might've taken the spot for best episode this season, dude. Holy shit. I love holiday themed episodes, man. Not only that, but I love the way they did it this time. I love when they do secret Santas in shows, man. It's so entertaining to watch. It's so good to watch. Like, the thing is with Michael, bro, it's like, you try to feel bad for him and like him and stuff, and then he does shit like this. And I get it's his character, but holy fuck, man. So many times I'm just like, damn, where is the filter? Where is the self-awareness? But I get that's his character. Regardless, fantastic episode, dude. I, dude, eh. I know I keep saying it. I'm sorry. I got to keep saying it. Pam and Jim got to end up together at some point. Man. There's no way they don't. They're both clearly in love with each other. You know what I mean? She's not super happy with Roy. She, like, at some point, it's got to fucking happen, dude. Um, Phyllis, I feel bad for her, dude. Homemade gifts are fucking great. You know what I mean? Like, Michael's an ass. <laughs> Straight up, bro. That's the only way to put it. Michael is a fucking asshole. Um, other than that, dude, it was just all around a good episode. I think this topped the Dundies for me, man. And this, like, I, I know, like, certain work environments aren't good, and then you do have moments like this and stuff like that. But overall, I, and I get it's a show, too, but overall, like, this is a pretty dope work environment. Everybody seems pretty close. Like, I mean, you obviously have moments where characters annoy each other or don't really like each other, but it's... It almost feels like that, you know, where it's like you get annoyed by like a family member almost. Like with Dwight and Jim, for instance, it's like when a, you know, a brother annoys another brother, essentially, right? And it's like they, they have that kind of relationship, you know what I mean? He doesn't genuinely hate him. Like, I'm sure if he cares for Dwight and like if something happened to Dwight, he would be sad about it and whatnot. But it's like, you know, they have that brotherly back and forth. And I will say, dude, this show, their facial expressions from certain characters, holy shit. Fucking um, Dwight and Kevin, those two dudes, their facial expressions kill me, dude. Kevin, his fucking smirk he does all the time, and Dwight, oh my god. The way this motherfucker's just staring at the camera sometimes kills me. Angela and Dwight might be on a rocky path. I don't know if they were, like, official or what? I know we saw a little bit last episode. We saw this episode too, what happened, but this is what happens when you introduce fucking alcohol, booze at an office party, man. Regardless, fantastic stuff, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys wanna check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. 
shout out to the homie that's so gordo the homie alexander collins and the homie christopher larimer your guys' support is much appreciated if you guys haven't already and you do want to join the patreon family the link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below you get early access to a bunch of videos up to two sometimes even three weeks in advance full length reactions and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel but i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one